her face, you can, she was like so certain, like when she was walking her closet, she was like, okay, wait, we're gonna be matching? Okay, let me- I'm surprised how easy that went. You didn't see me struggling, trying oh to come on with it. Because I was sitting there just like, Zane. <laughs> so much. She's crying, I always get her crying, yes! Can't pull my sister cries every time. <laughs> so yeah, he was in there, I was like, Matt, don't steal anything from there, please, so fuck <laughs> You, you come out with bangles, it's like, yeah, die, die. So, oh. this is the first boy in her room. <laughs> oh my God. All of these your hijabs? No, I had another sister and my mom. Oh, we all oh hold on. Well, I mean, you can use whatever you want, though. Oh, how color coordinated. Oh, yeah, always. it's like silk and then black. MTV Cribs, but it's not like a shoe collection. It's just like. <laughs> I thought for a second, though, that you like knew I was there. She like hops on the bed. She's like, hi, hops on the bed. And she almost grabs the camera. I thought she noticed that it was recording. I'm surprised how quick I got you to that closet. You asked. How would I? Not I just that could have been in there for a long time. <laughs> she heard like ooh matching outfits. Like, <laughs> I got some ideas. Well, I thought her dad was gonna go to her hijab. She's so, like, um, so I don't know. <laughs> Everything's here. I don't need to go in my closet. Okay, well, salam alaikum. We're here. Salam alaikum, alaikum assalam. <laughs> Was no, okay. we, we, <laughs> well, not that was a ploy just to keep your hijab on in case you just walked in and just all right. What? Imagine I just have to blur her like <laughs> we forget that you, you can't see it, so we're just like Matt, Matt, wait. Yeah, I just surprised her like this. <laughs> I like the shade. I'm totally surprised. Yeah, I'll take them off. No, you can wear them. It's kind of iconic. <laughs> if you don't know, well, you do know who this is. Yeah. But if you don't, for some reason, this is Jason Nash's mom, Hi. aka David Davis. Dobrik's wife. wife. <laughs> This one says, what no you... license, no plate, no registration, no insurance, no identity card, and expired license since, since 2017. Why isn't he in jail? I think David is the luckiest person in the world. Oh my god. <laughs> David just walked outside me. What's he doing? Oh, I think Aww. <laughs> I was like, David's the luckiest person in the world. I had to do a lot for Whitey. I had to pick a dingleberry off of Whitey. That's because you didn't change your letter! What do you mean? Wait. That's that was a week ago. Wait, that was weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. you should have changed it after a week. That was wow, big. I'm so glad we're all back together, <laughs> hanging out, not fighting at all. Took you back. Wow, so much change. Yeah, Target really did me good. <gasps> Cute. Thank you. So Zane and I have been taking care of Whitey. Oh yeah. That's taking care of Whitey. <laughs> I've been feeding her, cuddling her, everything. Oh, yeah, I've been keeping her nice. company. Yes, Does she sleep nice. with you? Um, no, she doesn't sleep with um. me, but she watches uh, Stranger Things with me. <laughs> she watches TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah she does. With you? Active. Oh yeah, she'll oh. come up and just like I give her a complete rub down. It's nice, <laughs> but the litter. <laughs> It's gotten a it's little disgusting. out of control. I just thought, it seems like thing, with two people living in a house, no, they could Aaron, figure it out. I, what, Eric, you didn't tell me that this has to be filled up every like few days? You you didn't yeah, tell I me. Did. It, no, you I didn't. I sent it all to Zane. Well, Zane didn't share it to me. You put, cause I, put, I live here now. And then you FaceTimed me and I said, this is what you do. And then I said, she'll be good. But I'm that, for no, two days. But it, that took me until I was like, does she have to be fed? How many holes in that? And I, and just, you had to wait till I, I, you had to wait until no, I tell her. No, no, you were hung over the day that I dropped her off. And I you told you. You could have texted you. No, I told me. you what to do and you were laying in your bed. About feeding her? Yes. I said it's all full. He doesn't full. remember. I literally, I was like, it's all full right now. So you don't have to feed her until. Tuesday. That's literally, those are my words. Because we left on Sunday and I said she'll be good until Tuesday. Yeah, you did say that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Zane's like, oh, I've just been letting her go outside and pee outside. Yeah. <laughs> bad gunkles. I'm used to it now. I'm, I'm a bad gunkle. <laughs> had a girl over, she's like, it smells like my grandma's house. <laughs> Good. I was That's like, what you it get. smells like pee, but it's just because of the other box. That's what you get for neglecting Whitey. <laughs> Alright, we're trying to get to Teen Choice. We just got food. Tensions are running high. We can't get an Uber. There's no service here. We're going home. <laughs> Good luck getting home. No service. We did it next time. I'll be sitting here. <laughs> it's 70. Did you bring us something to wear? No, I almost did, and then I was like, I don't feel like carrying it. Oh my god, you're gonna be so cold. I know. It's in 18 minutes. Oh, I wonder if it, it would be faster if we just got walk to bird scooters. Oh my god, let's find birds. We're like that obnoxious. Like, oh, I know. A taxi? Yeah. Are we in New York? <laughs> yeah. Are we in 1990? Jeff, you could jog it. We could. I saw it on Instagram. I didn't want to believe it. I'm like, Zane photoshops. He face tunes. No, He's fake. No, that's, that, that's not very nice. You don't see me making fun of your hair at all. You can't see it. Take off your hat right now. 
You know what? At least I could show my hair off. If I were you, I'd put a scarf on. Who do you think you are? You think you're Baba? You can't no. pull off a bald head, sweetie. Okay, my hair was fried, okay? My hair is completely butchered. I had to start fresh. I had to start new. How do you go out? We mean, how do I go out? You know? I go out just the way I go out. You know the family and I, we place bets. We're like, how much you want to bet Zane's not going to leave his house for months so his hair grows back? I feel like a new man, you know? What man is that? 60? Hi, Grandpa. Hey, that, you know what? You're getting a little rough, too. You're starting to look a little old. You're only no, 18 years no, old. No, I had my first glow up. Oh, my God. Glow up, baby. You mean blow up. What are you, a size 42 in jeans now? You know what? I was going to say something nice about you. But you ruined it. Oh, you're going to say something yeah. nice? What could you possibly say that's nice? You're now? looking a little thinner. Thinner? You're losing weight. Hidaya. That's really sweet of you. Thank you. Yeah, but you ruined it because of your hair. And I'm not a size 42. I'm a size 10. In your f Dreams. You gotta wear pants under it? No! They're American Eagles, so they're ripped jeans. Hold on, let's see it. When you wanna wear ripped jeans, but you can't be sinful. I bought a size medium in men's sweatpants. Ooh. And they fit. You know what the worst thing is that I actually cried about? I tried on Baba's pants. Hey, Daya, you gotta stop drinking whole milk. You, you know how drank three cups last night. You know, I don't drink whole milk. That was the first time I've drank whole milk in like, what, three, four months? If you're gonna drink milk, you gotta drink skim milk. And not only skim, and not only skim milk, you gotta put water in it and water that it down a little bit. That is disgusting. I'm never I know, that. well then just, I'll live fat forever. I don't care. That's how I got so big, because I was drinking whole milk. It's so bad for you. Are we gonna eat dairy like that? You just gotta work out a ton. I work out so much. You I do not so work out. I know you nope, don't work I out. I work out. How do you work out? I go to Planet Fitness. I worked out every day and I lost weight. And now my stomach is flat. You know what? It, it does look a little flatter now. Baby, I can't believe me and you are glowing up. This is our year. I'm glowing up. You, on the other hand. My hair grows back. Sweetie. You keep drinking whole milk, you're fast. I'm Harry Potter. Even though I'm from the UK, I do love America. Which is why I've come to Transylvania and see all their fantastic students. Like this one, Wednesday Adams. Tell me, Wednesday. What do you love most about life? I don't like life, I like death. Oh, yes, death. We study that a lot in defense against the dark arts. Dark arts? I know a lot about dark arts. Like cutting open a rabbit and spilling its blood all over a canvas. Oh, okay. Um, Wednesday, I must say I love your pigtails. Touch me again and I'll see that you die a slow and painful death. Well, um, something about your hair, though. Oh, it's a Horcrux! I call the Horcrux being snatched! Oh, you want a back now? No, no. Oh, I call the Horcrux! Is it good? Is it good? <laughs> MTV star, you guys. An MTV Stop. reality star. Stop. We did it first, we bitch. <laughs> hey, guys, we finally locked Tana down. Oh, my God. Stop. We're cop. You guys are so much <laughs> better than me. It's literally insane. No. You always ask me that. It's not only you. <laughs> How many other people? <gasps> what do you do? No, that was up this car? <gasps> That's Carly. Carly's attached to my <laughs> Carly's phone is attached to David's Tesla. <laughs> okay. oh I got God. Matt King on my vlog today. Uh, Matt, I always want to film with you. I know. It's it's an honor to finally be in it. But I, oh, let's kind of say it with a little more confidence. I feel like you're just so busy with just being Matt King, like reading books and going to music shows. Yeah, that's typically, that's all I do. You're exactly right on that. But I just didn't know if you're into those kind of things. When was the last time you read a book, Jason? Oh, so, so well, I read the Zane Hijazi story. The Zane Hijazi story? <laughs> yeah. I, it's a 10-page book. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a 10 -page book I could. And it's just called, um. <laughs> David's Snapchat confirms that Lorraine's cheating on him with Sean. Poor David, he would do anything for his new wife, and this is what he gets. This is, Lorraine is canceled. <laughs> when you were looking at Shawn Mendes in his underwear yesterday. <laughs> hey, I'm old, I'm not dead. <laughs> Since you're married to David, how do you feel about people shipping him with Natalie? Because this one says, can everyone stop shipping Natalie with David? She is beautiful and he is married. <laughs> the, the truth is, I think Natalie is beautiful and special and knows him and I think they would be a really good match. Oh God, this is going to be really bad for the fans. Lorraine is the one on the forums. I love David and To be clear, they are not Do you want me to be honest or do you want me to tell you what you want to hear? There's a difference. But our days when I'm like, I go on HBO and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to catch up and I can enjoy Game of Thrones with Zane. And then I'm like, no, I'm not watching. It's because you don't pay attention. You have to. You have to put your phone I'm down. And out of all people, though, I'm surprised that you have an attention span for Game of Thrones. Yeah, of course. Like, I'm like very ADD when it comes to that show. And like any, well, anything I watch, any movie, any show, even if I don't like it, I'm gonna pay attention to it. You know, <laughs> if I don't like it, I'm gonna pay attention. <laughs> yeah, because someone, someone produced it. Someone took the time to make it. So I'm gonna take the time to really pay attention and. Watch you it. fell asleep watching the Bachelor finale at Sauce's house. I didn't watch any of the 
previous episodes. That's the only one I've seen. Did you watch the finale though? So, so I saw, he, he got he ended up getting with the girl though. Why? She left. She left it. it. She's gonna leave him again. That's ridiculous. And she was like, no, I just uh, I can't do it. And her dad. What came. if the show told her, look, we know you love him and he loves you too, but like you have to do this for the show. See, I was because if it, if it ended with them being together, then it would have ended kind of boring. Yeah, it would have been like the first Bachelor where he didn't even get anybody. But so they but, needed a little drama. I know, but when I look at them together now, it it seems like she's not that into him though. And I I love her. I don't think she's like that happy. Well, yeah, probably because she was forced into doing it. Everyone's probably giving her online. It's serious. People I know it's kind of, I know it's kind of real. Shows like that, it's half of it is staged. You know what's serious? This hair you got, right? In between. <laughs> Look how big that is. It's huge. Then pull it out. All right, all right, all right. Ow! All right, make a wish and blow. <laughs> I give a very poor introduction. That's Ella Figueredo. She is one of my best friends from back home. She's been my friend uh, since middle school, which I'm very surprised because nobody else was my friend <laughs> back then. And nobody really <laughs> wanted to give me a chance either because I was, I was very weird and my hair was straightened every day. But she gave me a chance. I really appreciate that. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>